Hello. It's a difficult time for all of us in this unprecedented pandemic, but I wanted to reassure you that the haematology services are there and available for you as they always have been, although with some considerable modification, as you understand. What's very important is that we are still available to take calls and consult with you if you're not feeling well and we don't want people waiting at home and sitting on symptoms that they could report to us quickly and promptly thinking that maybe we're working a little differently from normal. We're not. So if you have any new symptoms that you think are unusual please contact the medical teams or the nurse specialists or your point of contact in the hospital. If you're feeling unwell with a fever or with shivering, you must go to A&E in the usual way. The services are functioning normally there too. The hospitals are largely now divided into the COVID areas and the non-COVID areas. And so we can safely see you in areas that are not affected by the COVID-19 virus. For we, we will always be taking more precautions, of course, and that's inevitable. So many of us will be wearing masks and gloves and aprons in order to prevent spread of infection that we don't know is there. But in reality, the pandemic is diminishing now and we are trying to gradually in increase activity again. This is all going to be very slow and it's going to be different from what it was before in that we have to take far more precautions to protect staff and patients. But we are starting to give some of the chemotherapy that we postponed, although this may be in a slightly different structure to what you're used to. We won't probably yet be really starting clinical trials in earnest, but some of these have been going on in some centres. Uh, obviously, priority has been given to the COVID-19 clinical trials, but there are centres that are starting the clinical trials again, and we're certainly considering now setting up trials that we were in the process of setting up. You'll be aware that we're doing the clinics rather differently from before and this also applies to the sporadic consultations that we would have with you. So we're doing telephone conferencing and video conferencing and this is working very well. So if you're unwell we can call you back, we can video conference with you if that would be more suitable or more appropriate. For example if we need to see a rash that you have or, or something like that. In Leeds we're starting to give azacitidine again now that we've postponed, um, starting new patients on azacitidine as well. As you know this was postponed because of the excessive risk of COVID-19 infection in patients on these types of drugs including azacitidine and we felt that for selected patients it was safer to postpone or delay treatment than to go ahead.